Alright, here we are at the MCG. It feels like an elimination final. This reminds me of when we went to um, Geelong and Rala. I reckon this might be the single biggest home and away crowd in Melbourne history. <laughs> well, it, it, it's a big crowd. It's a, definitely a big crowd. I'm tipping 73k. I reckon it'll just fall short of big numbers. I'll go 112. <laughs> well, that's just absurd. Um, we went to the pub earlier. Fever pitch atmosphere. It feels like the G's about to explode. Lads Best on ground. Ed Langdon, uh, I reckon he's coming during the week. All duck, no dinner. I reckon they'll target him and he'll respond. Do they give a best on ground in this game? <laughs> <laughs> they'll win a tiss or something. Three, Jake the three, the the fuck, you know, they give out the TV on Channel 7. <laughs> I reckon Frida or Cos are going to keep a bag. I'm going the D's by... I'm going to go 37 points. 37? Uh, I'm going to pray for a close game. I'll go the D's by two goals. Gordy, best on. By 70, but give it kick four. <laughs> it's about to kick off here. Friday night football, second versus third. Come on, Dees. <laughs> kick to Maltram in the goal square makes it four straight, 24 for the Dees. 2 0 12 for the Pies. Absolute ball bursting start. We don't want to get into a shootout. We got into a shootout against the Bulldogs and uh, we came off second best. Coxie never misses. Oh, never right. misses. Gorney misses up one end, and now the Ruckman for the Pies. Big Mason. Coxilla is going to line up from 25 out, 45 degree angle to reduce it to seven points. Oh, Coxie! British taking a huge clunk inside 50. Goes back and only just gets it through, but. We get that little break again. Been a good first term for the neutrals, you feel? Ash Johnson lining up. Absolute goal for goal here at the G. They can't miss the pies. Jamie Elliott lining up for his second, causing us some issues. And Gussie Brayshaw is limping, so this is a reducer to a point. Jamie Elliott directly in front. Quarter time here at the G. The D's are up by eight points, but it's a it's a bit of a shootout at the minute. Um, just leaking through too many easy snags for my liking. Jamie Elliott's getting off the chain a little bit. Um, yeah, man, Ginnivan, he got a free kick. He did. That was about his only kick, but he'll come into his own in the next one. Right? The crowd went absolutely wild for Ginnivan's free kick. Where was Langdon's free kick when he got drilled into the ground? By Braden Maynard, they're out for uh, for Langdon after his all duck no dinner comments. But um, we've been on top. We've left a couple out on the park and let a couple of easy ones through, so we can tighten that up. I feel like the game's on our terms, but it's a ripping first term. D's lead by eight. Bring on the second quarter. And Langdon marks directly in front, 20 meters out. Rod still sideline just watching the footy. Yeah, he did not want it. Duck dinner, I reckon. Here <laughs> Come on, Ed. If he if he misses this, he will hear about it. Come on, Ed. Yes! Go in! Max Gorn playing a lot more forward these days, taking a huge clunk over Howe, and he loves the arc here. Watch him work the arc here. Gives himself some space. Oh! He went straight and skidded it. Went straight and skidded. Tommy Sparrow lining up. He'll kick from 48 metres. Slow, hard, it's straight! He's been booed on the way off and he loved it. And he gave us plenty back there, Toxie. <laughs> Tox Villa. Dee's now skipped out to a 23 point margin. The game is on our terms here in the second. It is living inside our forward half. Repeat entries after repeat entry. But similar margin to the first time we played them this year. So we want to put a couple more goals on the board in this second term. <laughs> ben Brown goes bang from 55 metres. To give the D's a 16 point lead again after the Pies were coming a bit in this second term. This is a scintillating game of football. Harry Mackay at your heart out. <laughs> a free and a 50 for Bailey Fritch. Yeah! And he makes the most of it! That's how 
how he likes them. Half time here at the G. The D's are up by 17 points. The Pies kicked a couple of frustrating goals to keep themselves in the contest, but I felt like we had full control for most of that term. So, geez, this is the quarter though. This is where they picked us apart last time. They got in front and we threw away four points. So it's really important term about to kick off. Hopefully the Ds can withstand this little onslaught that the Pies will bring and have a bit of a buffer going into the last. Coming through the third and it's on for young and old. It's an 11 point ball game. The Pies are throwing everything at us. We need to settle. We need to settle. Where's Cox? Where is he? Cox is gone. This gets on the end of a goal. A pressure relieving snag. We were under the pump there by the Pies. They have thrown everything at us this term. We're back out to a 17 point margin. Their end to end central corridor football is terrifying. They're really bringing it to us. They're bringing the absolute heat, but uh, what you've got to be worried about is now the best kick in the history of league football. Trent Bianco's on the ground, so make all his finishing. It's not Clayton Oliver, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> a shit goal coming up here. <laughs> Maya check lining up for another. Here we go, here's a 10th shit goal. Another cheap snag. <laughs> You just got to kill that. <laughs> Lipinski goes bang. Oh, Western Bulldogs, great. A long way out, and here come the pies. It's back to a goal. This is six the... more scoring shot. Six points in front. Disgraceful. The goals they've kicked have been absurd. The and pies are actually good. And it's I on. I can't believe they're not a false economy. <laughs> the boys can play. Oh, we're giving shit goals. <laughs> We're going to have to fight our way through it. Come on, D. Oh, three quarter time here at the MCG. And frustratingly, we've given up three goals to one. And the pies are coming. This is, pies. This, is this is where they live. This is where they live in the quad one. This is a very similar sort of uh, quarter and game to the last time we played them. So we're getting stuck in between the 50s playing this fast pace end to end game. Very, very frustrating. I want to lock it down. I want it to be defensive. 22 scoring shots to 15 is very, very frustrating. A couple more snags and we could put this game to bed. But we only have ourselves to blame. The Pies have been really, really impressive. It all comes down to this. To cement second on the ladder, it all comes down to this. Bobby Elliott has caused us issues. That is a hot holding the ball on Viney and he's going to have a kick to, relute, to reduce it to one point here at the G. Jamie Elliott. Put them away. We're engaging in a shootout. And it's a one-point ball game. And we can't get out of the 70s. Sometimes we get stuck in the 70s and we can't get that one or two more to keep the scoreboard ticking. The pies are coming very, very strongly here. That's Johnson going for his third. Speak about niche weird third tall forwards that get off the chain against us. Ash Johnson is the pick of the bunch. He's played well though. He's a bit of a star. This to give the pies the lead. He's kicked it! It is a boil over. Oh, they can play the boys. They can play. This is the exact same game that we had in round 11. Almost good kicking is good football. Almost carbon copy. And now they're getting vocal. Brown, <laughs> this <laughs> calm boner to put the D's back in front. We're going to be specialist on the mark. Put it in Coxie. There's <laughs> one who played the big bucks for <laughs> Mason Cox on the mark. This is the biggest <laughs> kick. Come on, Benny. Oh, huge! The D's back in front by a point. 
There's going to be some more turns to this contest. Absolutely. Absolutely. Jack giving a moment yeah. here up in his last team. I love, is he? I love Jackie forward. G, but I don't want him to go Josh near it. Dacos slaps it from 50 metres, and they're up by another, five points. Another shit one. Another <laughs> shit one. 14 shit goals. <laughs> they can't do it again. Oh, they can't win another one again. They've got less than a kick. Oh, come on, Dave. still falling. Boy, straight out of the high diddle diddle. Oh, it was the bang 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 brigade getting involved. <laughs> well, man. I've been involved in a game like this for three or four years. This is an absolute ball burster at the G. Seven minutes to go. Goal for goal football. We're up by point. The next goal is so crucial. Turn it go, turn it go. Well, the four lines open. Hungry. Come on, Eddie. They don't pay though. No, oh, no they pick and choose when they. No, well, they don't. They pay the ones if you're coming from behind you, shove him. But pick and choose. Ash Johnson has a free. He's going to line up for potentially the game. Ash Johnson, soft free, lines up and kicks it. Ever pay those decisions? Oh no! D's down by five points. This clearance is absolutely massive. And the oh, come on, D's. Any key ball here. We can't get a hands up. This is just the Bulldogs game all over again. Inside 50. Hibbert can't grab. Leave a drag down. Our defence is absorbing a lot of pressure with two and a half minutes to go. We cannot get it. We cannot get it out of our 50. Two minutes it's going to be clock. tough. Two it's minutes to go. But we'll, we can't win it. This is a ridiculous result. The Pies are going to get home. His man Uzzah's leadership's coming. The Pies are going to get home. Ah, oh, that's a shocker. <laughs> the Pies are going to get up in an absolute boil over. No, 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 the ground. <laughs> They're invincible. Jack Crisp on the siren. They cannot lose. It feels like the stranger things when when the earth sort of opens up. It feels like something's just happened tonight. Uh, I just uh, I've gone from thinking they're a false economy to thinking they're a dollar ten to win yeah, the big thing. They're the real McCoy. They're the real deal. <laughs> oh no. The days have gotten rolled at the MCG. We're back into third. We're back amongst the pack, but the pies look like the team to beat, don't they, lads? Yeah! It's always good to bump into the fans, especially after their mob just rolled you at the MCG. Um, geez, we are back amongst the pack. Now, I could go glass half empty, but I'm gonna go glass half full. To win a flag is insanely difficult. This is one of the most even seasons I have ever seen. And to be in the conversation of being a flag contender in this season is an absolute privilege. Now, we are back amongst the pack. But I think every team's in the pack. I think it's a pack of three or four that can get it done this season. We just need to bank top four. And not from a home finals and second chance point of view. I just want to have consecutive seasons where we're a top four side. I think that's when you build a sustained, successful football club. So to drop that would be heartbreaking. But I feel like our best is still good enough to compete. It's just amazing that there's four other sides that best is probably good enough to compete as well. So. 
We're in for a wild, wild end of this season. I cannot wait. Just strap yourselves in, Melbourne supporters, because this is going to be very, very interesting. Once again, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone tuning in. And I'll see you all next week for a vlog against the Blues. Go Dees.